Weed control is an important part of all crop production systems. Weed infestations reduce yields by competing with crops for water, nutrients, and sunlight. They also reduce profits by obstructing harvesting operations and lowering crop quality. Weeds can also shelter insects, pests, and diseases. According to the Ohio State University Extension site, it is estimated that losses in the U.S. crops due to weeds left uncontrolled exceeded $7.5 billion annually. Pre-emergent herbicides are chemicals that prevent the germinating weeds from establishing in your field without doing any harm to the crop. One of these herbicides is Curb, Pronomid, which controls weeds by inhibiting root growth on developing seedlings. It has post-emergence activity on some very small weeds, but it is critical that root and shoots absorb a lethal dose of the herbicide before they are well developed. The placement and location of the herbicide greatly affects the levels of control. One of the goals of this video is to help the listeners understand better the importance of timing the application of Pronomid to maximize weed control. Weed scientist and area agriculture agent Barry Tickis from the University of Arizona Yuma Agricultural Center has conducted several trials to determine the best application method of Pronomid herbicide curve in lettuce. His studies in 1999 and 2000 demonstrated that in the low desert where the product had been applied after planting and before starting sprinkler irrigation was often leached below the weed seeds prior to germination and as a result some efficacy was lost. These experiments in which he interrupted the sprinkler irrigation and sprayed experimental plots with a CO2 backpack in muddy fields showed that curb application should be delayed from one to three days after starting sprinklers during early season, three to six days for mid season and five to six days for late season. These delay applications at the time required that aerial applications be made. After the terrorist attacks in September 11, 2001, air traffic was suspended, including agricultural pesticide applications. Lettuce growers in Yuma needed to apply their early season herbicides, so PCAs, pest control advisors, asked if the product could be chemigated, which means apply a pesticide through the irrigation system. Thickus conducted several trials in the Yuma area to answer the question. Surprisingly, these trials revealed that the product performed better chemigated via sprinkler irrigation than applied by air. Today, most of the curb in Arizona is chemigated and applied in delayed applications. Also, this method is extensively used in California. Research done at the Yuma Agricultural Center in 2014 included trials in which split applications and different rates of curve were tested in lettuce. The product was chemigated. A one inch bulb was added to the sprinkler riser. This allowed the researcher to have total control over the sprinklers, enabling him to interrupt the irrigations and apply the product at different timings and rates. The treatments included 1.8 and 2.4 pints of curb starting applications at the crook stage. This is when the reticle starts developing and attaches to the ground. Other treatments included 1.25, 1.8, and 2.4 pints at the crook stage, plus an application three days later. The experiment included untreated plots, as you can see in these images. The results show that curb applications at crook stage plus three days later, performed better. The highest rate at 2.4 pints was the best treatment. The strategy of delaying herbicide applications has the idea of keeping the herbicide in the top half an inch of soil, which is germinating zone, avoiding this way the leaching of the product that occurs when the product is applied too early. The data obtained from this valuation clearly confirms that the practice of waiting until weeds start germinating and maintaining the herbicide in the root zone provides better weed control. This also eliminates the loss of product due to leaching when applied too early. Barry Tickets is currently conducting research at the University of Arizona 
with the purpose of evaluating the efficacy of new products and developing new application methods for products already registered. If you have any questions on this topic, please call 928-782-3836 or visit us at the Yuma Agricultural Center located at 6425 West 8th Street, Yuma, Arizona.